As shown by the latest Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change reports on climate change adaptation and mitigation, the world is at a crossroads. We are already seeing the devastating impacts of a 1.1 degree Celsius temperature rise. We are over 420 parts per million of CO2, and we need rapid transformations across all systems to avoid the worst climate impacts. To limit warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius, global greenhouse gas emissions must peak before 2025 and be reduced by 43% by 2030. But current climate pledges and promises made by governments and corporations will not take us to where we need to be. We don't have time for false solutions, such as carbon markets and offsets, net zero pledges, large-scale monoculture tree plantations, bioenergy, technofixes and smart agriculture systems. The most vulnerable groups like indigenous peoples, women and frontline communities continue to feel the increasingly devastating effects of climate change. We must urgently address the intertwined crisis of climate change, deforestation and biodiversity loss. Luckily, the solutions are out there. Many grassroots groups are already implementing gender-just and transformative real climate solutions. They are fighting to secure collective rights to forests, land and water for indigenous peoples, local communities and women. La rentabilisation du mode de vie des peuples autochtones et en particulier les femmes en territoire de Walikali, nous sommes en train de mener une expérience de développement socio-économique en lien avec l'élaboration du plan simple de gestion dans la concession forestière de Simbafaka à Makassa. Les femmes autochtones sont réunies, sont mises en groupe qui développe différentes activités, notamment les activités d'élevage de, de, de stabilisation des caprés, l'élevage des de, de poules, mais aussi on développe des activités eh, agricoles en lien avec l'alimentation familiale et non extensive. Et dans ce genre d'activités, on met en exergue Women are taking the lead to conserve and protect the biodiversity and ecosystem functions that the communities need to sustain themselves. Au Bénin, en particulier dans la commune de Basila, les femmes rurales pratiquent l'apiculture par des méthodes durables. C'est-à-dire, contrairement à ceux qui font l'usage du feu de brousse, Pour la récolte du miel, elles utilisent du matériel adéquat, notamment l'accoutrement. En plus de cela, ce qui est plus intéressant encore chez ces femmes est qu'elles procèdent au reboisement de leurs forêts ruchées par des espèces de plantes mellifères. Na defesa de seus territórios, da floresta e da biodiversidade, as mulheres se destacam. Elas são as principais guardiões das sementes criolas. Elas resguardam toda uma biodiversidade, plantas medicinais em seus quintais, raças criolas também de pequenos animais. Então elas têm um papel fundamental na conservação ambiental é, e também no combate às mudanças climáticas. Indigenous peoples, local communities and women are practicing transformative agriculture, like agroecology, one of the most equitable and just ways of addressing our climate crisis. <laughs> Nosotros como mujeres somos las que nos quedamos en nuestras comunidades a cuidar nuestro, nuestro bosque, 
estamos haciendo huerto familiar y también apoyando también al medio ambiente eh, en nuestro propio proyecto que estamos haciendo eh, está también reforestar también en lugares donde, donde han sido quemados y entonces de esa manera cuidamos la naturaleza. Communities and movements are increasingly mobilizing to fight for their rights and to preserve ecosystems and natural resources. There cannot be real climate action without gender, climate and social justice. And it's not as hard as it sounds. We can do this if we focus on the real solutions that already exist. Mm -hmm.